We're going to do another car ring today. Um, somebody had asked me what tools I use, so besides the detail on the rough out knife, I have a number six one eighth gouge, U gouge. I have a number six one quarter and a number seven three eighths gouge that I will be using. And then detail knife rough out so do this almost right in the middle Let's see how this works it looks like the Lighting is better on the screen, so you can see what I'm doing better. Um, usually I have it brighter when I'm carving, but I think I can do this. When I have the light on it, it seems like it kind of bleaches out the wood a little, you know, with bass being a, a whiter wood. So, start just by Cutting a wedge, that'll be the lower portion of the nose. Try to get that even, both in depth and distance. Cut a slight angle, remove that piece. That's pretty close. All right, so now I've cut the main cut and then two slant cuts if you can see that All right. now for me I go from here to using the gouge to start shaping the sides of the nose. When I'm carving a face like a Santa, I'll do the distance of the nose based on where the cap is, And but this we're just doing a block of wood, so I can really do this any way I want, but be mindful of the territory that you have when you're carving a face. If you just want to have a nose, eyes, and a hint of lips, you'll be fine. But um, if you want to add other features, make sure you leave space in that wood. So leave some territory. My music turned off. So... Alright, so like I say, I start out with uh, number 7 gouge, just kind of laying out the territory. And now this is where, I guess this has the impact for my carvings. I come in with the next gouge. And scoop out. Now I'm kind of setting up where the eyes are going to be. And this you can always shape it just a tip, little different each time so that you can have a different expression. 
might actually raise his this up just a tad. All right. So now we've gotten a little bit deeper in how we've carved this out. And for some, that would be as deep as you want to go. Just bring a little bit more depth in that long side here. And now I go to my even smaller one and clean that out. So now this is what we have. And you can see it's fairly deep in there. So now usually what I'll do is I'll come in here and just kind of drop this down. start shaping the nose. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come alongside, not going extremely deep, but putting some depth in it. Now I'm going to cut that little wedge out. Same thing on this side. Okay, so now we've got a little bit more space underneath that we're going to end up creating the nostril area. Usually I start to taper the lower portion of the nose just to kind of start figuring out what shape nose I'm going to have. Just softening those lines. Alright, don't know what kind of character we're going to do today. So we're just going to keep cutting. have a big honkering of a nose. Next what I'm going to do is come alongside where we did that cut. And I'm just going to do a slight angle just to cut a small wedge out of in there. Just to separate this wood from that wood a little bit better. So slight angle 
just enough to remove some of that out. And yeah, it did just get a little darker in here. I'm working off of the light from outside somewhat, so when the sun goes behind the clouds, but you can see how that's, now there's that depth in there. Alrighty, let's see here. Now I'm going to come alongside the outside piece, and I'm just going to soften that edge down. Don't want any hard edges or what look to be sharp edges. There we go. All right. So now I'm going to take that number seven gouge, and I use um, I use the Drake gouges. I've been using these for a while now. Really like them. They hold their edge. with the other gouge and I'm going to clean that out. <laughs> 